Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel and today we're gonna do another vintage Star Wars book review. We would be honored if you would join us. But first, before we get into the book review, I know, I know that you uh, want me to fan react to the Obi-Wan trailer that just dropped today. Because this is a Star Wars channel, and because I am a Star Wars fan, I seem to be obligated to uh, have a little corner shot of the trailer in the corner of the screen, and then uh, another camera on me where I ooh and ah and react to watching the trailer. But um, I already saw the trailer. <laughs> I wanted to see it as soon as it dropped. I didn't want to set up a camera and shoot myself watching it and then lie to you later and say that it was the first time I was watching it only so that I could overreact and overhype how I watch TV like I don't know I just kind of watch TV like you I just you know like that so uh, here's my fan reaction to the Obi-Wan trailer I liked it I liked it I'm looking forward to it it's gonna be fun it's gonna be awesome I can't wait it looks like it's gonna be uh, better than Book of Boba Fett. Better production quality, more movie-like, kind of similar to how they did uh, the Hawkeye uh, series, where it kind of felt more cinematic, like there was more there was more going on, more money spent. And so, can't wait for that. It looks incredible. Can't wait. And it looks incredible. So, uh, I haven't done a book review in a while, and the reason is because. Uh, I don't know, I just get sidetracked. <laughs> I just do, I do other things. I'm doing other things besides just reading Star Wars books. I've already, I've always got one of these books by my bedside, it's true. And I actually finished reading this one a little while ago. I have started on the second. This is the uh, Jedi Academy Trilogy, okay? Jedi Academy Trilogy, this is book one. This is Jedi Search. And uh, I don't know, I, I'm really looking forward to talking to you about it. All right, the Jedi Academy Trilogy, book one, Jedi Search, from Kevin J. Anderson. This book came out in February of 1994. Delray Publishing, 368 pages. Uh, there's a war going on between the Republic and what remains of the Empire. And then we have now the two Jedi twins. They are coming into their own. Their powers are growing, and so along with that, we have a new Star Wars saga beginning. So Luke Skywalker is gonna set up his academy. He's gonna train the new order of Jedi Knights. And then we've got that story taking place while Han Solo and Chewbacca, they're somewhere else. They're on, on a planet, they've been taken prisoner, they've been uh, sent to Kessel and they're working in the spice mines. But Han and Chewie, they break free and when they do so, they leave with a young one that seems to have some Jedi powers. And because Han and Chewie are missing, people go and search for them. So Luke goes to Kessel to look for them, and he comes face to face with a weapon, this floating kind of Star Destroyer that can wipe out an entire solar system. It's a death ship called the Sun Crusher. So the whole story is about how Han and Chewie got kidnapped and how they broke out of jail, and then how his fr their friends come and try to look for them, try to find them. And then we have the Imperial side with this kind of prototype Sun Crusher Star Destroyer and Luke setting up his school for young Jedis and then how they're going to then find these new young Jedis and recruit them. And so I gotta tell you, I really liked this book and I was surprised going out to places like Amazon or places where people had left reviews where there was such a huge diversity among Star Wars fans as to whether they liked or didn't like this book. Um, I did kind of see more people like it, like me. Uh, and I guess there's always gonna be a small amount of people that don't, but people had said, oh, the story's shallow, or they didn't like uh, Kevin Anderson's writing style. But you know what? So far, out of all the Star Wars books I have read up till this point, Kevin Anderson is the one who writes Star Wars for me, for me, the closest. The story felt like Star Wars. The dialogue felt like when it was coming out of the characters' mouths, that was how those characters talked. Other authors in the past have just said, oh, this is Han. And then when he talked, I was like, but that's not how Han talks. 
Like you have to know the characters, you have to write for the characters. The characters have to do the things that you would expect them to do. In this, everybody acts the way they're supposed to. Everybody talks the way they're supposed to. And aside from the twins, you know, being the only characters in this book that really end up making it non-canon, right? So, I mean, the reason why the, these books are not canon anymore is because of the twins, pretty much. Because in the movies, they don't have twins. So, uh, yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Other people have said that second to the Thrawn trilogy, right? They said Thrawn trilogy is number one. This trilogy is number two. I saw a lot of people say that. Um, I would even go one step further. I'll probably get a lot of slack for this, but I wasn't that impressed with the Thrawn trilogy. It was probably because people had hyped it up so much that I was expecting a lot from it. And then when I read it, I was like, huh, that was it? Like, I mean, it was okay. I liked Thrawn as a character, but the books themselves, I mean, to me, these were better. I liked this trilogy the best so far. In fact, I'm in book two right now and I'm halfway through book two. So I can honestly tell you that I do like this trilogy better well than all of them so far. So I've already answered the question, um, is it canon? Of course not, it's not canon. And I think pretty much going forward, as long as we have the twins involved in a story somehow, the books will continue to not be canon. Um, but this is the first one I would say, I would, I would see a movie like this. I would see this as a movie. I mean, if you remove the twins from this and use the rest of it, it would totally be a Star Wars uh, prequel to how Luke sets up his academy. It works, it fits, it does. Um, it's a great book to how Luke sets up his academy and, and all the, the inner workings behind that and the stories that surround it. I love the story of the Sun Crusher. I like some of the other planets that were introduced and some of the other characters, uh, the female lead. Uh, with the Empire, you really get you know, a sense of you know, what's going on with her and kind of where the Empire is at this point in the, in the vast universe. And so, yeah. I liked it. I liked it a lot. So I guess this is the review with two thumbs up. Uh, I like this book, thumbs up. And I liked the new Obi-Wan trailer, of course, thumbs up. Who? Who isn't going to like the new Obi-Wan trailer? I mean, who? Who? And I know I've given you updates about uh, Galaxy's Edge in the past. I'm going back. I'm going back to Galaxy's Edge in like uh, two months. Two months. Going back to Galaxy's Edge, Walt Disney World. Uh, if I see anything new down there, of course, I'll let you know. And if there's something you would like me to check out or report back on, tell me down in the comment section. What did you guys think? What did you think of the Obi-Wan trailer? I mean, I could ask that, but of course you liked it, right? Uh, tell me down in the comment section below as well. Thanks for watching, guys. May the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.